Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I know how hard it is to present your lesson, your topic, or your subject in Google Meet without seeing your viewers or your students because you cannot see their reaction, you cannot see whether they have any question, you cannot see if they have any chat, and you cannot see everything that is happening in your class because you are focused or because what you can only see is the lesson or the topic that you are presenting. So please watch this video until the end because in this video, I'm going to be teaching you or I'm going to be showing you how to see your students or your viewers while you are presenting your lesson using the Google Meet. This is Glenda Ganzon and welcome to my channel. So let's jump into my computer. First of all, I'm going to be opening a Google Meet. I'll go ahead and click join or start a meeting. You can either put a code in this box, join or start a meeting, and click continue. So I'll just make a code to start my own meeting here. So this code here is the one that I'll be sending in my invitation for this Google Meet. So this code is what I'm going to be sending to my students or to my viewers in inviting in my Google Meet. So next is I will click continue and i will click join now or i may also click this copy joining info here which is to be sent to my students in order for them to join this google meet or i can personally invite them by adding their email address here so that they can also join our google meet this time i'm going to add an email address to invite my student or my viewers in this Google Meet and click Add Recipient. And after that, if you already encoded or type all the email addresses of our students or whomever we would like to invite it to join in this Google Meet, then we can now click Send Email. As you can see, it's just for the sake of this video that I only send an invitation to my own account. So after that, I may now send email. And we already have one participant in our Google Meet. If you can see in the right upper portion of our screen, this is me. But I cannot see my video or my picture here in the big screen down below. But I can see my face in this part of the screen. I can also see here, this is the chat box i can also see here if somebody have a message i can also see in this part how many participants are here in this meeting and this is if i click this one i can see all the participants here we can choose only show participants with video we can also choose highlight the speakers so if we click this one we cannot see those participants without video and if we click this second one here, highlight the speaker, then you can see the speakers or the speakers who will be presenting in this Google Meet or who are talking or speaking in this Google Meet. If we click this third box here, it says include yourself in the grid, then you can also see yourself in the grid and if you click this fourth box here it says enable grid view by default then the google meet will be showing the default view of this google meet and if you check this last box here enable screen capture mode then you can capture this screen so it's already captured so I leave this setting as is for now and this box here is for the quiz that we're going to make in this Google Meet. But for now, I'm not going to make a quiz but I will only be showing you how to use the Google Meet having two windows. You can see your presentation as well as the participants of this Google Meet. 
because if you don't have two screens or two windows what you can see is only the slides that you are presenting to your viewers or to your students but what if you only have one laptop or you only have one monitor what are we going to do so please watch this video until the end because i'll be showing you the next move that we're going to do so the next thing that we're going to do is to open another tab and let's open our presentation so i'll be choosing the slides or the slide that i will be presenting in this google meet so now that my presentation is already ready i will go back to the Google Meet and in the right lower portion of our screen let's click present now in this box we have three choices you may choose to click your entire screen click a window click a chrome tab but for this tutorial video I will be clicking a chrome tab since my presentation is already ready, I just go ahead and click this one for my presentation and click share. So how do we know that we are now sharing this window or this presentation, slide presentation or this topic in our Google Meet? You can see in the left top portion of your screen here that sharing this tab to meetgoogle.com so if this message appear in the top left portion of your screen then it is already or this slide is already presenting in your google meet let's go back to our google meet and now we're back in our google meet so how do we know that we are now presenting the slides that we opened in the other tab in the left upper portion of your screen you can see here the same message that you've seen in the other tab which is sharing docs google.com to me google.com if you can see this one meaning what is being seen by your viewers is the slide that we opened in the other tab how can we see our participants when we are presenting knowing that if we present what you can see only is this part of your presentation and you cannot see your viewers or your students let's go back to the google meet you cannot see the presentation in this google meet because it's in the other tab what you can see only is the participant you as the speaker and no more you cannot see your presentation so what are we going to do is to click the presentation tab and separate it so now so after separating let us click restore down and same too with our google meet tab we already have two different windows here our presentation tab and our google meet tab so let us just resize them to have a bigger view so now we already have two screens here or two tabs here you can see your presentation and at the same time you can see the participants of your google meet you can while presenting you can check on their message if they have any message in this part you can also see their reaction and you can now start presenting see your presentation in in this side and your participants in this side i hope you've learned a lot from this lesson or from this tutorial video for today and if you have any question please write down in the comment section down below and if there's anything more that you would like me to do please also put in the comment section down below and i hope you like this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up also share this video and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be updated with my new videos once again thank you so much for watching and god bless until my next videos stay safe everyone bye